We continue our safely back to school series tonight. Parents and students, we know it's stressful right now navigating the changes and the unknown as kids get ready to go back to school. And tonight we're going 360 for student athletes, coaches and parents. What does fall sports looks like this year in the pandemic? The Colorado High School Activities Association still hasn't come out with a clear message. So do we cancel contact sports? Are non-contact sports a go? Do we postpone them all? Here is Denver 7's Russell Haythorn. Round two, ready, go! High school athletes are back on the playing field in Colorado. Oh, look at you, Baylor! These conditioning workouts for football players at Broomfield High are helping kids stay in shape for whatever's next. We all recognize there's, there's not gonna be a vaccine by the fall. So the reality of is, can we do this? Can we participate in a way at the same time, keep kids safe? It's not as easy as say, let the kids play. There has to be a way that athletics doesn't undo everything that our schools have been asked to do. So we're going 360 on the possibility of high school athletics and activities returning this fall. We will hear from coaches, athletic directors, an AD who's also a parent, and we start with the commissioner of the Colorado High School Activities Association, also known as CHASA. Commissioner Rhonda Blanford Green says CHASA has submitted its proposal to the governor and state health officials. We just keep revising our request and our ask, and, and you know what? We're patient. What that proposal entails is not public, and Blanford Green <laughs> is not sharing. How confident am I that athletics and activities will resume in the 2021? school year, absolutely, I feel like we can make that happen. That brings us to district leaders like Broomfield Athletic Director Steve Shelton. I would say we're cautiously optimistic. I think we're coming down to crunch time. Uh, high school golf, the first day of tryouts for high school golf is August 3rd. Shelton says while they're grateful to be out here conditioning, we got to have our masks on. Schools will need additional guidance sooner rather than later. Just tell us what the expectations are and we'll make it work. He says the vast majority of student athletes, parents and coaches, how many more we got? At least at his school are ready to return. Most of them are saying, we're okay taking the risk. We're okay, we understand that there's there's a chance that someone's gonna get sick. It's going to happen at some point, but we value this activity enough that we're willing to take that risk. Oh, good job, good job. We split it up 25 and 25. We'll have 25 kids out here, 25 kids inside in the weight room, social distancing. Coach Colin Hart is a defensive coordinator and linebackers coach for Broomfield and says right now, it's all about following the rules. If we need to push it back, if it needs to become in a springtime thing, but you know, I, ideally I think for families, for kids, for teachers, you wanna make sure everybody's safe. I like to remain optimistic about it. Sierra High School baseball coach, Andrew Buxton says he's moving forward. Until they tell us to get off the field, you can't be there, we're gonna be out there. He's concerned the rules could be different district to district. He says consistent messaging from Chassa will level the playing field. It needs to be universal. Rules like that where we have to follow those, but maybe D20 doesn't have to, it only puts uh, you know us significantly more behind. We're just kind of taking it day by day. You know, we're in constant communication with our players. Harrison High School baseball coach Max Cup has adopted the philosophy that safety and health is the priority, and his players can and will adjust. If we have to play with masks, then we'll play with masks. Um, we adapt to our environment and we just overcome those challenges that present themselves. Rounding out the discussion is Adam Kelsey. He's a dad, an assistant principal, and an athletic director. I feel like we've worked all summer in talking about scenarios and, and safety and, and accommodations and restrictions. Copy, you're down here, let's go. At Denver South High School, they've moved into phase two of conditioning. <laughs> quarterback and, and the receivers can can run and throw routes. Kelsey has told his coaches it's their discretion how to train this offseason, a message he can't overstate after the South High girls basketball coach spent two months in the hospital fighting COVID-19. In terms of just within our own school community, you know, that was a pretty serious caution flag for us. Go! But Kelsey says in order to move forward, go get your cleats on. They need a decision 
from the state. We've all been fairly patient, but now we're certainly coming up on the scheduled start of fall sports and parents and, and student athletes are pretty anxious. A few more rounds, a few more rounds. Other states have already made these tough calls. Florida, for example, is starting fall athletics on time. Texas is delaying everything by two weeks. And California has said no sports will return until December. Safety will be paramount, no question about it. But what it will look like is still very much in question. If you are at risk, if you are a person in that category, then you have to protect yourself and in, in, in high school athletics may not be for you right now. Our mission speaks to us providing safe opportunities and safe environments and we're not going to veer from our mission. Good job today boys. Fun way to end it. Way to wear your mask. I know it's not the best way to breathe, but hey, we did it. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. One, two, three, Eagles! Now we would please like to hear from you, parents, student athletes, coaches, everybody. What should fall sports look like this year? Email us your thoughts at 360 at thedenverchannel.com.